The multi-Grammy award-winning rapper Drake is one of the biggest musicians on the planet. Prior to the global events, his concerts would quickly sell out. Due to his incredible success in the music business, after originally getting his start as an actor, you knew that, we know, he's also one of the wealthiest musicians around. Today, we're going to see what Drake spends his vast fortune on and where exactly his income comes from. We'll see the stunning homes he owns, both in the US and in Canada, his pricey car collection, the various sports teams he's involved with, the amount of money he's donated, and much more. So let's get started. Drake has acquired not just one, but a number of properties in Hidden Hills, California. Firstly, he's purchased what's now known as Yolo Estate. He bought it from Larry Pollock, who originally had the asking price set at $27 million during 2009. In 2012, Drake swooped in when Pollock hit money issues and bought it for a massively reduced $7.7 million. Weird to say $7.7 million and reduced in the same sentence. Drake was desperate to get a house with an over-the-top swimming pool, something that this property definitely has with its stone statues, swim in grotto, 80-foot slide, wet bar, and water Waterfall. For years, Drake had a photo of the pool at the Yolo Estate at his computer background before he even purchased it. Beyond the pool, the 12,000 square foot property also has a cinema, a wine cellar, a games room, tennis court, and much more. Looking to expand his LA empire, Drake purchased the neighboring property during 2016. The 4,445 square foot four bedroom house was snapped up for nearly $2.9 million. However, he wasn't done yet. He wanted an even bigger compound. So Drake bought another next door property during 2018. This 2,449 square foot estate comes with three bedrooms and was bought for 4.5 million. Altogether, the properties now amount to 6.7 acres in size and cost the rapper $15.1 million. And that's not including all the renovation costs. Now, the house that became famous due to its appearance in the music video for Tusi Slide. Called the Embassy, Drake began buying the land in Toronto back in 2016 for 6.7 million. The property there was torn down and work began to build the mansion of his dreams. When it was done, the house came to 50,000 square feet in size. That's the size of three hockey rinks. The master bedroom alone takes up 3,200 square feet. Designed and built by Ferris Rafali, the massive house comes with a number of interesting features. For starters, there's an NBA regulation size basketball court. That alone costs around $46,000 to construct. The house is covered in marble and even houses a 20,000 piece Swarovski crystal chandelier because you gotta have that. According to reports, building the embassy cost between $100 and $150 million altogether. It's not the only multi-million dollar property that Drake has owned in the Canadian city. He did have a two-bedroom condo that was adjacent to the CN Tower. In July 2013, he put the Yorkville condo on the market for $3.3 million American dollars. Yet by October 2013, it was sold for a reduced $3 million, because nobody can afford to live in Toronto anymore. Thanks, Drake. When people hit the heights of racking in millions, one of the most common purchases is a luxury car collection. The man known as Aubrey Graham doesn't disappoint in this regard. As shown in the 2016 music video for YG's Why You Always Hatin', that features Drake relaxing through the car's open roof. The man himself does actually own a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. In the same year, he posted up on his Champagne Poppy Instagram account a photo of his prized Lambo with a comment that his car made him feel, quote, like I'm Christian Bale. With a 6.5 liter V12 engine and 709 horsepower, this car was purchased just from Canadian car customizer Driving Emotions Toronto. A sports car like this doesn't come cheap. The brand new 2016 model hit the market just under $500,000. Another vehicle in his arsenal is the LaFerrari, also known as F-150. This hybrid sports car was first released in 2013. Drake picked one up in 2018 from Fusion Luxury Motors. The model has a 6.3-liter V12 engine that has 963 horsepower. It can reach a top speed of 227 miles per hour. It can also hit 63 miles per hour in just three seconds. In 2015, a brand new LaFerrari would have cost at least $1.6 In 2017, the auction house Sotheby's were selling off one of the last Ferrari Aperta models. In the end, it was sold for 8.3 million euros, which is nearly 10.1 million dollars. One of the most sought after supercars for the wealthy is to get the Bugatti Veyron. Well, Drake went a little further when he bought his. Instead of getting the standard snazzy model, he splashed his cash on the Sang Moi edition in 2010. Only 12 were created. This vehicle has an 8 liter quad turbocharged W16 engine with an incredible 1,000 horsepower. It's capable of reaching 62 miles per hour in just two and a half seconds, and has a top speed of 253 miles per hour. At that time, Drake was the sole owner of this vehicle in Canada. The rarer something is, the more valuable it is. 
As such, the Sangwa was said to have a price tag of $2.2 million back in 2010. In 2019, news broke about Drake getting his own private plane. Instead of the typical smaller and sleeker models that the rich flock towards, Drake is very different. Named Air Drake, he was gifted a Boeing 767-300F. Yep, Drake didn't actually purchase the massive airplane. After working with Canadian airline CargoJet, the company handed over the keys to the plane free of charge in exchange for publicity, so it's really not free. The price of this airplane is around $185 million. There's a lot of publicity that Drake has to promote, though. In 2020, Air Drake underwent a renovation by acclaimed designer Virgil Abloh. The exterior was colored sky blue with a cloud pattern, with Air Drake, CargoJet, and the OVO logos all added as well. But it's the interior where the magic happens. With seating for up to 30 people, the plane is covered in leather armchairs and plush sofas. It also features a large screen TV and a bar. Air Drake is likely to be a tour plane for the rapper. The cost of the change has been undisclosed. However, to get a general idea of how much it costs to convert a plane, in 2018, figures were released that showed the price of switching from passenger to cargo planes. Converting only one of the Boeing 767 models came to around $14 million. Drake has his fingers in a lot of pies. Even sports has grabbed his interest, especially when it comes to a particular game he's extremely passionate about. In 2013, it was announced that Drake had become a global ambassador for the NBA team, the Toronto Raptors. In 2017, the partnership of the Raptors and Drake donated a combined $3 million to local causes under the Welcome Toronto program. $2 million went to Canadian basketball, and $1 million went towards refurbishing local basketball courts. Drake has even hinted that he could own the team in the future. But considering the team is said to be worth $2.55 billion, Drake will have to increase his already vast fortune to purchase them. With the ever-increasing popularity in esports, Drake got in on the action too. In 2018, he purchased a stake into the 100 Thieves team. The group specializes in games such as Call of Duty, League of Legends, and Fortnite. While the exact amount that Drake spent is undisclosed, 100 Thieves had funding totaling $25 million from both Drake's and other investments. Only a year later, Drake's investment was shown to be very successful. The value of 100 Thieves shot up 40%. As a result, the team was now worth $125 million. Other investors include the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Dan Gilbert, and music producer Scooter Braun. But where is Drake getting all this cash from? We hear that you're thinking that. Well, mostly from his incredible success in the music industry. As we mentioned in the intro, Drake originally started his showbiz career as an actor. He appeared on the TV show Degrassi, The Next Generation from 2001 to 2009. At one point, due to his mother's illness, Drake's $50,000 yearly wage from the show was the only income for the family. To date, he now has an estimated net worth of $180 million. Each of his concerts is said to give him $2 million alone. Drake regularly brings in an annual salary worth tens of millions of dollars. His career has so far provided him $430 million in earnings. In 2017, he added $95 million to his bank account. Two years prior, Drake signed an exclusive deal with Apple Music for the reported cost of $19 million. Yet beyond his own music career, Drake has also created his own recording studio called OVO Sound. Standing for October's very own after Drake's birth month, the name of OVO would later be used in other business ventures, such as a fashion label. OVO would team up with Nike to produce a selection of Air Jordans starting back in 2013. The Jordan 10s can go for as much as $500 online. Drake has also created a production studio called Dream Crew during 2017. They've been involved with films such as 2017's The Carter Effect and 2020's Spree. They've also worked on TV shows like Euphoria and Top Boy. Over the years, Drake has gained a reputation for his great philanthropic donations. One of the most well-known incidents happened in the music video God's Plan in 2018. Instead of spending the budget on cars and dancers, Drake instead gave the money to people in need in Miami. At one point, a woman's homeless shelter received a check of $50,000, while a student for the University of Miami's Frost School of Music was given a scholarship of $50,000 as well. The total budget of the video was $1 million. The original plan was for the rapper to hand out $175,000, but he decided to go a tad further. A few years prior to 2013, Champagne Poppy helped out Strawberry Mansion High School in Philadelphia. He gifted them $75,000 to go towards a recording studio. By 2015, it was up and running. In 2020, Drake helped people there involved in the protests over George Floyd. The group The National Bailout helped people with legal costs if they're arrested due to protesting. Drake donated $100,000 to their cause. Like a lot of rappers, Drake has a soft spot for jewelry and watches, according to some estimates.
estimates. It's believed he spent at least $10 million on his ever-increasing collection. One of his favorite pieces is the Stone Island logo medallion. This reportedly cost Drake $100,000. In 2020, he spent $1 million alone on a 100-carat heart-shaped diamond necklace. As for watches, he has the Patek Philippe Nautilus Perpetual Calendar. This white gold watch with a sapphire crystal back can go for as much as $249,000 online. Another watch is the Rolex Daytona. But to make it even more special, Drake has the Paul Newman edition. It can cost as much as $510,000. With Drake's jewelry-loving reputation cemented, it's attracted the attention of thieves. In 2016, while Drake was performing in Phoenix, Arizona, a thief got inside his tour bus and made off with a briefcase containing the valuables. The robber was later caught. Originally, the press reported that the contents were worth $3 million. However, Drake later stated it was actually worth around $400,000. Well, that's not anything. Final fact finish. Even with the hefty price Drake spent on the music video God's Plan, it's still not the most expensive production of all time. That title belongs to Scream by Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. The music video was released in 1995 and cost a massive $7 million at the time. With inflation, that would be around $12 million today. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.